Hey guys, RC here. Uh, back with a little bit of stranded deep information. Now, I don't know how this is going to affect my save because don't know if it's compatible or not. But wanted to pull this up. So you'll notice we were playing 0 0.53 that came out in February of this year. Today, or late yesterday, 0 0.54 is now out in the experimental stage. Uh, they have not released a stable build in quite a while. Uh, anyway, uh, so wanted to kind of go over the changes because it looks really, really good. Uh, first off, you can see a few interesting things in there. Uh, yeah, a lot of new things. So new build is up, experimental. Uh, let's take a look. Some bug fixes. Uh, you can actually drag objects on your spear. Uh, you can pull things off your spear, just like the uh, the fishing spear, I guess now with your regular spear, just a guess. Uh, some sound things, uh, map editor, yuccas, bushes, okay. Uh, loading screen, spelling mistakes, those are no big deal. I mean, they're, you know, they're little, little bugs and every game has that. Uh, controllers. Uh, Looks like they now have a console, so uh, Y and left and right bumpers, so that's cool. I play on PC, so I don't know anything about the console, so that's good. Uh, now, some of this is interesting. They've nerfed the UV sun exposure. One of the things I really don't like in the game, literally, you, you couldn't be outside from like 10 o'clock in the morning till 4 in the afternoon unless you were wearing aloe vera. End of story. You just couldn't be outside or you would overheat and get sunstroke and, you know, wipe out your food and your and your, your water. Uh, so they've nerfed that. Uh, they've changed the watch indicator for UV. If you remember when you would hold the watch up and you would look at it, it would show UV all the time. Uh, now they have actually, it will not show that UV indicator if you're underwater or in shade. So if you're in a spot where you're protected from the sun, the UV indicator goes away. Uh, so that's really good. Uh, low and critical vitals will now flash. Uh, the watch feedback uh, is easier to monitor because uh, the rounded values on the uh, bars. They've added a column for SPF, uh, sun protection factors. Uh, they've removed the sleep category uh, because it had no effect in the game. You know, you were able to stay awake for days on end. So they've removed that. I don't know if they'll add something back in to where you have to sleep, but you can still sleep through the night, no big deal. But you don't, you're not forced to sleep and that category is gone. Uh, the clock screen is now gone. So instead of having three screens, they're only going to have two. And basically at the very top of the, of the watch, and we can look at the picture up here, you will now have the time, uh, the clock, the date, and the UV uh, marking is now uh, on that top, a uh, top toolbar on the on the watch on every screen. Uh, they've increased the watch size so it's easier to see. They've changed the intro for the private jet. Uh, maybe now you're not crashing into the water from 10,000 feet. Maybe you're actually going down and the water's getting closer. That'll be cool. Uh, they've added distant billboards for missions. Now, the only missions in the game that I recall were the boss fights. Now, this could be something related to the storyline, which has not been included yet. Uh, new intro screen, which is the private jet intro. They've added a female character. Now, I was reading some of the quick comments at the bottom of this, and they say the the uh, it's not very good. <laughs> that it still has the male movement and everything else. Uh, but female voiceover. Uh, I wonder if when she breaks an act, she goes, Oh, shit! <laughs> like he does. Uh, clean character clothing models in, to, in for the private jet scene so your clothes are not destroyed at the start of the game. Uh, before you crash, so that's cool. Uh, game difficulty settings. So they've actually come in with a hard difficulty, a more challenging mode. So you have normal, how it's always been. Uh, hard difficulty, more of a challenge. Your vitals go down faster. Side effects are more dangerous. Resources harder to harvest. Creatures do more damage. So that's uh, 
That's interesting. And then a creative difficulty. You can play without worrying about your vitals. This is basically an easy mode. You'll still have to harvest, scavenge resources, but without the threat of dying. Uh, you also get a hat to show that you're in easy mode. <laughs> so uh, three game modes now. Uh, in addition to the game modes, you also have an animal difficulty. So they have normal, passive, and taking them out of the game completely. Now, bosses are not affected. So the Megalodon, you know, those, those uh, animals will still uh, be in the game. But uh, you can actually remove sharks or the sharks will be there but won't attack you. Or you can have them on. Um, so... I wish they would do something like that in Green Hell for the natives because that's the one reason I don't like Green Hell. Uh, new player stamina. So, so stamina is a yellow bar at the bottom of your screen. If you sprint or sprint swim, your stamina goes down so you can't do it endlessly. Uh, so I know a few YouTubers that are not going to be happy with that, but that's reality. Uh, so that's good. But there is a new physical skill. All right, so some new skills. Uh, these unlock different content. So uh, you can view these from, oh, there's a new screen on the watch for skills. So you have a hunting skill. This is the amount of damage that your weapons do. Uh, and then you get more experience. The more dangerous the creature, the more experience. Cooking skill affects how many calories the food gives. So we were used to a small meat giving one bar, a medium meat giving two, and a large meat giving three. So it's possible that small meat could give two or three bars if you level your cooking skill up high enough. Just a guess, but that's how I'm reading that. Harvesting skill. So you harvest by tree cutting trees, picking up rocks, uh, breaking open uh, rock, rock nodes, clay, scrap, wood. Uh, using tools. And this is the amount of damage done to resources. That's what that says. So a higher skill, you'll gather quickly, and then you do damage to the resources. So I wonder, as let's say, let's say when you're breaking open a rock node or a clay node, we're supposed to, we've always gotten six, six units, right? So it's possible that in the early going, you might only get one or two. And then as you get better, maybe you end up getting 10 or, or 12 or something like that uh, as you build your harvesting skill up. Physical skill affects your stamina and oxygen. So you can hold your breath longer. You can run longer. Uh, you can uh, maybe build structures with a hammer faster. Uh, I don't know. Uh, but that's how you do it. Building structures and swimming is how you build. Uh, now, you should be able to gain that by running as well. Uh, okay, but it doesn't say that. So that's, I don't know. I think they missed that. Uh, crafting skill, you craft items, build structures. The more advanced the object or structure, the more experience. Certain crafting combinations are now locked until you reach a certain crafting level requirement. Okay. Sprint swimming for faster underwater movement. A new tool belt and hotbar keys. All right, so the keyboard on the PC will use 0 through 9 for these, and the D-pad uh, on your controller for console <clears throat> will control the first four slots. They have put a container in the game, a shelf stacker, that you can put on rafts, in your housing, in your buildings, on the ground, and each shelf allows for three storage containers to be securely stored. Yes, that's huge. Uh... No more worrying about your chet, wood tr tr chest flying off your raft in the waves and disappearing forever. Uh, spyglass, better look at faraway objects. They've added in four new, four, three sharks, a giant grouper, and a turtle. So a whale shark, a hammerhead, a goblin shark. Uh, they've added a new yacht shipwreck, a Polynesian shipwreck, planes, tankers. Uh, they've added new survivor shelters from past survivors. So these will be scattered at random, it sounds like. And I'm guessing, just guessing, that's just going to be the regular lean-to shelter that you, you, know, you can build at the, you know, build at the start. Uh, they restored the Easter egg for Wally, uh, the diver state, and the parcel Easter eggs. Uh, new raft controls, new raft animations. Awesome. 
cool deal. All right, so I just wanted to bring you guys up to date on the update here. Now, I'm heading out to work, uh, so I just saw this, wanted to record it, and I won't even be able to render this till I get home today. But I don't know what this is going to mean for my 0.53 save. I'm updating the game right now. So I guess when I get home today, I will see if the save is compatible or not. Um, if it updates automatically. Uh, in fact, I think I'm going to go in and ask that question before I leave here this morning. Uh, so it could be the end of our 0.53 uh, save. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but anyway, wanted to let you guys know. We'll see what you guys thought about all this. A lot of changes. Now, the Goblin Shark is the only one and the Hammerhead. Uh, whale Sharks are not aggressive, so I would guess those would be like the Reef Sharks where they wouldn't attack you. Turtles shouldn't attack you. I wonder if the Sharks eat the Turtles in the game. That would be interesting. But I'm looking forward to getting into the game and just checking some of this stuff out. So, uh, anyway, yeah, this came up at 10.35 last night, Central Time. So, wow. Um, so, kudos to those guys. I know, you know, And he makes a comment in here that they've been going crazy doing paperwork uh, with, you know, everything from Telltale going bankrupt. Now, it was a little before I got into the game, so I'm not exactly sure. I've, I've read a little bit about it, but he said that's all behind them. They're working on co-publishing. Uh, they've been working on this update. So, um, and they're going to be looking for any bug reports, uh, cause they want to, they want to get this one as the next stable build ASAP. So kudos to those guys. I know they've been working hard and, uh, thanks to them. Thanks to you. See you guys later. Go out and check out the new update and let me know what you think in the comments. Take care. Bye.